I'm Lauren of All Trades, and today I'm visiting the Sky Lagoon Hot Spring Spa in Reykjavik. My phone's supposed to be waterproof. I don't trust it. I will not put it underwater for a second.
So that was the Sky Lagoon Hot Spring Spa. We really liked the experience here. We chose the pure light option, which only includes the public changing rooms and the lagoon itself. The pure pass and the sky pass include the seven step ritual, which we considered, but I decided I didn't want to spring for the money based on what the experience was described as, which includes some cold water stuff. Um, I thought that, that I thought I wouldn't enjoy that. Um, and I'm happy with my choice to not have upgraded to the seven step ritual. Um, and then the other difference for the Sky Pass is that they have private changing rooms and showers. Um, but as far as the public changing rooms, it's male and female and the showers have stalls. Um, and if you want more privacy for changing, you can just use one of the bathroom stalls that are within the changing rooms. Um, the so lockers are free, towels are free, tap water is free. And then there is a really cool swim up bar, which it was really early, so we didn't end up taking advantage of that. And then a really cute cafe that you can grab a snack and a drink um, once you're done. Or you could actually grab a snack and a drink, um, enjoy that, and then go back in the lagoon. There's not a time limit once you get here. But as far as arriving, you should absolutely make a reservation because they do sell out. Uh, the prices seem to vary and they seem to vary both um, on websites versus travel sites. We booked it through Viator and found a better price. And when I look today at what the prices are, there's a different price from what we paid versus today's price for today versus next week's price. So the price varies. I don't know um, if that's because of exchange rates or what. Another thing I wanna mention is that there are like later in the evening reservation times. And we were like, why would you come at seven o'clock at night? It's gonna be dark. Au contraire, that is not true in Iceland. And we were not remembering that when we were booking our tours. It stays light basically all day long. Um, there's still like light in the sky even once the sun sets. So I think it would be actually really nice to come in the evening. One other thing about the timing is you will select your arrival time and then you have to arrive between that time and half an hour later. So we picked 12 o'clock, so we had to get here between 12 and 12.30. I don't know what would happen if you arrive early or late. I suggest you aim for the start time so that you don't have to find out if that's gonna be a problem. That's it for me and the Sky Lagoon Hot Spring Spa in Reykjavik.